Hi, my name is Elizabeth Tan and I go to school at Dublin High School. I am in 12th grade. In the future, I hope to become a lawyer because I am interested in studying for law and representing underrepresented minorities. Uh, what interests me about the law is how much it impacts society and how I can help others through law. For fun, I participate in my school's marching band and I play the flute. I also really like art, I, and I also like photography. As a sophomore, I helped found the nonprofit organization ABLE. ABLE is a youth-run nonprofit organization to foster projects to improve society through acts of public service. As president, I run the ABLE meetings and I also help facilitate projects. We have many projects which includes fundraising for the Yemen crisis and humanitarian crisis around the world, um, poverty in Indonesia, we worked on COVID, we have an initiative for global warming and many other projects. One of ABLE's projects is to address the ocean and human health problems presented by plastic pollution. Millions of tons enter the ocean each year, killing thousands of animals and making people ill. We work with the community in beach cleanups and to help make our national park in San Francisco plastic free. Today, some ABLE members and I are at the Aquatic Cove in San Francisco to clean up pollution on the beach. Our leadership team works with California Assemblywoman Rebecca bauer Khan and Alameda County Supervisor David Haber. Thank you for having me here. It's really fun to be with all of you today and chat with you. Um, a couple of things that really are my passions are um, our youth and your future, and then really focused on how we create a more just um, society for everyone, um, for all ethnicities, background, genders. So we do a lot of women's rights work and things like that. Um, so that's a little bit about what we work on in the assembly. Um, you know, I want I want to thank you for this and for your focus. I know, um, you know, I had the opportunity to come by and speak at your stop at API Hate Rally, but it's such an important work that you guys are involved in. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you all for coming out here to support the Asian community. My name is Elizabeth Tan, and I'm a junior at Dublin High School, and I'm also the newly elected president of Above and Beyond Leadership Education, which is a nonprofit program run by youth led and it to serve communities locally and worldwide. Next up, we have David Halbert, the Alameda County Supervisor. Hello everyone, I am David Halbert, the Alameda County Supervisor and former mayor of Dublin, California. And I want to say I'm so proud of everyone today, all the organizers, Sherry Hu from the City Council of Dublin, my other colleagues from the Dublin City Council. Let's give it up for Dublin for hosting this event. And for all of the organizers, just doing an outstanding job. Three very short messages, and I would like to echo the comments of my predecessor speaker here, Rebecca bauer Kahan. What a great word she said. All of our government officials stand united against hate. I may be young and I may be female, but I have a conscience and I have a voice. My generation will become the future and we must be the master of our own fate. Yes, they call me an ABC, American Board Chinese. But today, our home, this is our country, and we must, we must stand here as ABAs, American Born Americas, Americans. This is, our, this is our home, this is our country, and we must bring attention to the hate directed towards Asian Americans. Stop Asian hate! No! Non-Asians can reverse what's happening to Asian Americans by acknowledging the discrimination that exists since a lot of people don't realize that Asian discrimination is a problem and they can also support by voting for Asian representatives into the government. Supervisor Haber and Lily May really support minorities such as myself and they have consistently been an advocate for the Asian American community. I want to say we had a great lineup of speakers that day, and speakers really make the event happen. And you were one of those speakers, and you did a great job. And I gotta tell you that many people came away and said, 
boy, that student speaker was one of the best speakers. So that was you. You did a great job. Asian hate crimes still happen. Um, they've always happened for a long time. We, whenever it happens, we have to stomp it out. And the way we do that is by talking about it, by providing workshops and, and community discussions and forums and town halls, and by education. You know, I guess uh, the youth are the future. So I'm glad the youth are standing up and having a voice. And um, I, I just commend all of uh, the young people for doing that. So you're our future. We, at some point, will have to rely on you more heavily when you get older. So we want to train the youth really well. And this is a great example of it. I'm also interested in cybersecurity and fighting cybercrime through law. Since we live in the age of the internet, cybersecurity is a very relevant topic and for me, I am very interested in this topic since I live in Silicon Valley and I have worked on a research paper with a Silicon Valley cybersecurity expert named Benson Young. Right, because the cyber there's no border, uh, so there's no, today, there's actually not a single law covered the cyberspace globally. Uh, we concluded that cybersecurity has a huge effect on societal infrastructure and how cyber crimes could easily take down um, the most important pillars of society so that we should make an international law in order to prevent society from falling apart. In the future, I hope to become a lawyer because I am interested in studying for law and representing underrepresented minorities.